Scorpio, welcome to July 2019. Now here in July, you're forging a new direction. It's time to shake things up and expand your horizons. That's because Mars, the planet of action, energy, and desire, and your co-ruler is direct and in Leo, bringing the focus to your destiny in the world, your profession in the world, your outward contribution to society, your resume, <laughs> and Mercury is there too. So this is a time to expand your horizons. And I really see you thriving this month in July. Your creative energies in your career are taking you to the next level. Now, we have the Cancer Solar Eclipse on July 2nd. And that brings the action to higher education, higher consciousness, expansion of consciousness, long-distance travel. And Uranus, the Awakener, is sextile this new moon. That means opportunity. So for some of you, there's an opportunity in here to travel. There's an opportunity to take a new course that will advance your career. Here in July, this is very good to do. And I'm going to be offering my YouTube course uh, all about you know how to have a thriving YouTube channel and a winning website to grow your brand and prosper and it goes here with this energy for you very strongly so if any of you have been thinking about uh, having your own YouTube channel and growing your business with it you know check this out uh, the link is in the show more section now Neptune is also in harmony with this new moon and for some of you this can be about a new love interest one that you feel a spiritual connection to where you feel wow it's a soulmate I feel really drawn to this person that type of energy and you're like a kid in a candy store this month because there's just so many directions you can go in. And it's about having a complete change of pace. Even with the Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrogrades on the 7th. But I don't see that, you know, as a challenge for you. Because the Mars energy is so strong here. And Mars is your co-ruler. Pluto is your modern. Mars is your traditional. And he's so you know, high up in your chart, you're going to be energized. You're going to be like, hey, I'm ready to go in a new direction. I'm ready to try something new. Why not? And especially if there's opportunities being brought to you and, you know, this opportunity, that opportunity, why not uh, see where they take you? Because it is time to shake things up. With Uranus opposing you, that is about, you know, really going after what you want and, you know, being open to something new, a new course, a new direction, because this will advance your career. You know, and maybe it is for some of you to be on YouTube and grow your business with YouTube because, you know, it really is the future. And the CEO of YouTube says by the end of 2020, there will be 5 billion users on YouTube. That's a huge marketplace, which means anyone can have a successful channel and have their own market, have their own tribe, and do well. And what's cool about you know these eclipses in here for you, you've got the Cancer Eclipse on the 2nd, followed by the Capricorn Lunar Eclipse on the 16th. Capricorn Sextiles opportunity if we put some effort into it that's what sextile means trying means positive energy flow harmony with you and that's what cancer does for you and so both of the eclipses are in the least disruptive part of anyone's chart is this area that you have them in and they're in harmony with any planets you have in Scorpio your Sun your moon your rising I have a lot of Scorpio in my progress chart. 
And so I'm, I'm looking forward to <laughs> what this will do for my progress planets. Now, a progress chart is where you take your natal chart and turn it to today because we're always evolving. We're always growing. But the natal chart is the foundation for life. And Venus is in that area of uh, true uh, expansion of consciousness, higher education. Venus entered Cancer on July 2nd. I mean, on July 3rd. Cancer solar eclipse on the 2nd. Venus enters Cancer on the 3rd. Mercury retrogrades on the 7th. Starts out in Leo. Backs into Cancer on the 19th. The Capricorn lunar eclipse is on July 16th. And then Mercury backs into Cancer on the 19th. So that's why this is really good for you to um, be open to, you know, starting a new course, taking a course, giving a course. For some of you, maybe you want to train. You want, you want to teach others something that you know. Absolutely appropriate for that as well. Now, Saturn definitely has a hand in here with these energies. The Cancer New Moon, Uranus is the closest one, which brings, you know, opportunity and, but we have to put some effort into it. Uh, but, you know, like if you take a course, it can definitely advance you. And uh, even any kind of metaphysical or spiritual practices that you're applying this month expand your horizon through, you know, some metaphysical of a spiritual pursuit is very good for you here in July. And then as the moon separates, she runs into Saturn at the uh, Cancer solar eclipse. And it's loose at, at the eclipse, but as she separates, she's in direct, uh, you know, head on with him. And that is, you know, about looking at what it is that you need, what feeds your soul, what is out of balance for you now that you can you know bring into balance and then the Capricorn lunar eclipse on the 16th Neptune is in harmony with both of these moons which is beautiful and the moon is past Pluto but it is sitting close to Pluto so watch for that obsessional thinking if you find yourself obsessing about something or your brain is just doing overtime, let it go. You know, get up, go distract yourself, read a book, you know, play a video game, watch a movie, do something to distract your brain at the Capricorn lunar eclipse. If you're finding yourself getting overthinking something, Saturn rules this moon and so and he's opposing Venus and Cancer exactly at the time of this moon. Here is an opportunity to look at, you know, your responsibility in relationships. You know, what is your responsibility? You can only play your part. The other person has to play their part. Saturn, Venus, oppositions like this, they can be karmic relationships where we're doing all the giving and not receiving. Our, you know, there's an imbalance in the relationship where, you know, one person is putting more into the relationship than the other person. It's an opportunity to review and reflect on this and see, you know, what changes we can make by communicating our needs and asking for what we want. Mercury is retrograde, so we don't want to be, you know, aggressive in here although it can stir up with this moon Pluto where we could just feel it come up inside of us. But there's also this energy in here too of uh, deja vu and uh, where we feel like we're repeating a circumstance with someone. Now this can be a friend, it can be a love interest, it can be a client, a customer, a colleague, where because we have so much retrograde energy in here in July most of the planets are retrograde. Venus and Mars are direct. The sun never retrogrades. The moon goes void, of course. So there is this energy of going back, you know, or re-experiencing something from the past, like re-experiencing, but with a new person. 
So it's, it's, it's a new person that they remind you of someone that you know. They remind you so much of someone that you know. And that is, you know, pay attention to that. But eclipses bring powerful turning points. They bring beginnings and completions. So maybe for some of you, you know, you're completing a project at that Capricorn lunar eclipse. Maybe you're completing a writing project or a social media project. And that's good because you really are in a very strong position in here. In July, Cancer is your sister sign and Capricorn harmonizes with you and Mars is in such a great part of your chart. He will not be there again for another 22 months. So you do want to take advantage of this. Even though Mercury is retrograde, we don't stop business. We don't stop living. We don't stop doing. We want to look at what we're agreeing to. We want to make sure that this is good for us. The devil is in the details when he's retrograde. However, for you, you know, it's time to shake things up. It's time to forge a new direction. It's time to expand your horizons, spiritually, metaphysically, emotionally, and, you know, investing in yourself, investing in a new course will advance your career. There's so much creative energy in here to help you in your career and your public image. And there's, I see these opportunities coming at you where you're just like a kid in a candy shop. Where Should I go on this path? Should I go down this path? Hmm, that path looks really interesting. Hmm, maybe I will. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Then the sun enters Leo on the 22nd, followed by Venus on the 27th. And there is a Leo new moon on July 31st. Now, on the West Coast, it is at 8.11 p.m. On the East Coast, it's at 11.11 p.m. In Europe, it's after midnight and on August 1st. And this is a phenomenal new moon for you. This Leo new moon is breathing new life into your career. It's breathing new life into your projects and any, any career endeavor that you have. Uh, and there's a love festival going on because the sun and the moon are coupled together with Venus at the time of this Leo new moon, which is awesome. And Mars is coupled with Juno, the asteroid, the wife of Jupiter at the time of the Leo new moon. This is all in your destiny in the world, your profession in the world, your reputation in the world, your outward contribution to society. Scorpio, this is a phenomenal new moon happening in your career. Like this is ah, unbelievable. And then Mercury goes direct on the 31st. So even if you don't jump into something here in July, do it at the end of July, do it in August, because it's a perfect time for you. And I really love this energy that's happening. You know, this is like so creative. This is about, you know, a new start in what you do. This is, this can also be a new start in love too. You know, for some of you, it can be about getting engaged. You know, maybe you're taking the relationship to the next level and you're proposing to someone or someone's going to propose to you. You're, this is, you know, phenomenal energy for you. And even Venus is in harmony with Chiron and Aries. So I see a strong healing in here for relationships by the end of the month. Now, if there's drama at work during this month because of the eclipses and the Mercury retrograde, escape into research work that interests you. So avoid the drama at work if you have to. Like if you, if you have to deal with drama, go escape into some research project that really interests you. Maybe it's you know, your spiritual pursuits. Maybe it's something metaphysical. Maybe you're going to learn astrology. Maybe you're going to, you know, learn Reiki or healing. That feeds your soul. And it's a great escape from the drama that may be going on at work. Eclipses 
are very powerful transits and they bring intense energy. And then when you throw the Mercury retrograde in the mix and communication messes up and people uh, take things the wrong way or, you know, whatever's going on, um, there's going to be drama. However, you're doing so well that you don't have to go there. In fact, the more you can avoid, the better it will be for you. Because you have this phenomenal uh, new moon in this area of your career. You know, first you have the new moon in Cancer, which is saying, hey, if I invest in this course, or I invest in this skill, this training, learn these new techniques, that's going to up my pay grade. I'm going to do it. Then the Leo new moon is going, come on, take, take a chance, put yourself out there. It's time for risk taking. And what's really interesting is, you know, Uranus sextiles the Cancer new moon, because Uranus is in Taurus now. So it comes in and says, come on, Scorpio, you know, try this new course, put yourself out there, take a chance. Then by the Leo new moon, he is squaring the new moon. He's challenging the new moon, so the push is really there for you to forge this new direction. You're going to really feel it at the Leo new moon on the 31st and August 1st. And going into August, you're going to be really feeling this energy like, whoa, I really do need to take this course or start this new business or go after this new position, you know, whatever it is, you're going to really feel that strongly. And it's good because the energy in here is, is like, I could take a risk. I want to be my authentic self. And what I've been doing, it isn't an authentic reflection of me anymore. So I need to do this new thing because it's much more authentic to who I am now, not who I was before or who I'll be down in the future. But here today, I'm this person. I mean, this is why I love to teach because it's such a strong part of me. And so offering courses is a way for me to do what I love. I love, you know, publishing and astrology, of course. There's other sides to me. And there's other sides to you. And you're being shown this. And... You know, Leo is about the artistic, creative self-expression, being bold, being brave. And Jupiter is in positive energy flow with all of it. Jupiter in the area of your money, what you love and value, prosperity, is trining the Leo new moon, trining Venus, trining harmonious energy flow with Mars and Juno. This is phenomenal. So what the universe is saying, if you take that risk, if you take that course, if you go after that new position, you're going to make a lot more money this year, next year, and into your future. And this is your one new moon. You get one new moon in this part of your chart, one full moon. You'll get the full moon here in uh, you know, 2020, in January or February, depending on when the Leo full moon is. I haven't gone out that far yet. And here with the Leo new moon, this is about new beginnings, new starts, breathing fresh life into your career, your projects, your endeavors, and, and being focused on your heart's desire. Leo rules the heart. What does your heart desire? What really turns you on? What excites you? What gets you out of bed in the morning? Where do you want to be in three months from now, six months from now, a year from now? And this is going to be a, a, pre, a little bit of a pressure here with the Uranus challenging the new moon, pushing you like, come on, go in this new direction. You know you need to. You know you need to take a risk. You know you need to you know, try something new. You know you need to expand your horizons. And you're going to have a lot of opportunities that are very exciting for you, you know, like a kid in a candy shop. Ooh, maybe I'll try the chocolate. Ooh, maybe I'll try, you know, this over here. Maybe I'll try, yeah. It's like, oh, okay. That's right. There's, there's, you know, try is a, is a very magical word. And Mercury will be direct by the end of the month, going into August. So doors are opening for you here. A new path. And a new direction and it's time to shake things up and you know this for some of you you really know that it is time to shake things up 
And why not? Why not move in a new direction? Why not try something new that's interesting for you? It is exciting. Now, for those of you open for love, available for love, it's on. I mean, the, the, the Cancer New Moon is in positive energy flow with Neptune. So you could be, you know, connecting with someone who's at a distance from you, or maybe they're from a foreign, you know, their their culture is different than yours, they're from a different background than you. That is a strong possibility. And then at the Leo New Moon, you could be meeting someone in your career, whatever it is you do in the world. You could be meeting someone through that, through the work that you do in the world, that you meet someone. And it's amazing. Like this can be a really, you know, a start of a, a great love for you. For some of you, you may be meeting someone who's new and you feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like I, you know, I'm reliving deja vu here, repeat experience, you know, repeat circumstance or similar dynamics playing out. Uh, very interesting to see how this will work. For those of you coupled, if there's any challenge going on at the eclipses, you know, any arguments or heated discussions by the Leo new moon and going into August, I see that all being healed over. I see it all being healed. There's a tremendous healing energy in here for uh, relationships with this Leo new moon. And so that's okay. Uh, it's important to speak your truth, ask for what you need and allow others to step up and you know they'll see the light and everyone will feel better about things as the month moves on and that healing comes in with the Leo new moon which is beautiful career is off the charts your career is like woo you know it's like phenomenal you're forging a new direction it's time to sh shake things up uh, investing in yourself is going to advance your career you got a lot of creative energy to tap into for your career and your status in the world your public image and it's exciting money looks good money looks phenomenal especially when you get towards the end of the month and that Leo new moon kicks in it's very exciting financially what's happening for the Scorpios and July and August when I come back and do the August I'll tap more into that uh, but it looks really good you know, things do have a tendency to slow down when Mercury retrogrades, but that's okay. It'll pick right back up again. And for you, he'll jump right back in that area of status in the world and career and move you forward. Uh, and that's good news. Spiritually, you know, both of these moons are in aspect with Neptune in positive energy flow, unlike the June moons. So, you know, take time to heal your body, slow down listen play have fun do things that energize you and and do what heals you do take good care of your health do what heals you do what's right for you i'm not really seeing any challenge to your health that doesn't mean you know some of you are not dealing with health challenges i'm just not seeing it at this time that it's um a concern i just see like this major you know energy of moving up in what you're doing, moving in a new direction, and it's so good for you. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and subscribing. You totally rock, Scorpio. You're awesome. And if you would like to join me in this creative pursuit of being a YouTube creator, influencer, think of what a 1,000 fans could do for your business, 1,000 loyal fans, how that could grow you, how that could... Help that Jupiter prosper and expand your personal income. The link is below in the show more section. It's also up in the cards. It's in the annotations. You just go to my website, sign up. You get the gift. Uh, my, uh, love my biz program, $77 value just for signing up. So until next time, Scorpio, go for it. Force that new direction.